Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I wanted to sit down, it's Melissa. <laughs> I wanted to sit down and talk about some of my favorite products I've been using lately. I think that I've gotten a really amazing um, regiment going and uh, I'm seeing some really great results. The only thing I've done differently recently is my hair was straightened about three or four weeks ago just so I can get a really good deep trim. Um, and I honestly, according to her, I've been doing a good job on my own. But she was like, yeah, there's definitely something you just missed that you wouldn't have seen without your hair being straight. So, um, because of that, and because I've discovered this washing style that I think is so cute um, and easy to do, um, I've almost drifted away from doing twist outs. But when I did it the other day and how like defined it was and how long it stayed, like I kind of had to like make it really pull it apart because it was working so well. Um, to get the volume I wanted, um, I was like, well, let me just talk about my products. So, the trend you'll see is there's a lot of things that are from the same line, and I learned that from Monica from The Do. She was saying, like, lines are put together for a reason. So, usually, like, I would say, even like she would say, I guess, like 95% of the time, the product is always going to work even better because it's paired with whatever is created with because the shampoo lifts the sh shaft and adds these nutrients and blah 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 and then the conditioner comes and closes it back down or fills it with the nutrients that it's supposed to be paired with and then therefore you get the result the desired result according to what the bottle would say so um let's start with what i do i have like a three-week cycle i'll wash my hair every week but i have a three-week cycle that i go through um, i'm low porosity high density multiple patterns um and then strand on average i think is a medium but i think it changes depending on where you are in my hair um so the th what i do is i pretty much avoid repairing products all the time now since i found out about porosity and everything and i already missing results i was like what if i just start to focus on hydrating because i'm low porosity so that way i'm getting hydration in there and it's growing or strong or healthy um, versus always repairing, which some repairing pieces do hydrate, but like, you know, it's like, it could be a little bit aggressive for me. Um, and I don't really use much protein at all. There might be something in one of these. So this is how this started. And this is where I am right now. So a little while ago, I discovered Amika and Amika is based out of Brooklyn, small business. I don't know if it's male or female. Their lead stylist is a woman of color, which I think is a great, is great slash amazing, grazing. And um, the soul food nourishing mask I got because it's a hydrating mask. So I said to myself, I was like, well, I don't need to be repairing my hair with every mask or every time I deep condition. So let me find something else that I can sit on my hair regularly because one of the, uh, that I'm gonna talk about, one of my masks is like you do it once every week or two weeks. So I was like, well, what can I do every week or every day if I needed to? So that's how I found this. And in turn, which is amazing, super hydrating. And it, on some of their uh, websites, or outlets, sales outlets, it says a repair. So I did, this is why I got the other two products. So I was like, well, let me still use it because I'm not gonna get rid of it because I love the way it works on my hair. But let's like, again, get this entire collection to work together to make sure that I'm getting the hydration that I really am seeking out. So um, I let loose of other shampoo conditioners and stuff that I was using a little bit early too because I was like, I'm not, you know, whatever. Um, so <laughs> that's not a whole sentence or story. Um, but let's move along. So for what I kept looking for again was hydration more than anything else. And I came back to Amika wondering what they had. And they have a line called Normcore. So Normcore is um, the intention is to hydrate, well, to actually get to the core with vitamins and antioxidants, and then to hydrate the hair. So I was like, this is perfect. So I bought this first, and I was still using this. And again, that's when I really actually discovered the um, potential repairing treatment that it could be. So I made sure I went back and got the conditioner. Um, so, and they are spectacular. So I will say, I actually, with this one, comb my hair out with the shampoo in my hair, and then the conditioner goes in after that. The conditioner has no slip whatsoever, but my hair drinks it up. It actually 
goes on there's no white cast at all because it's i feel and see that it is going into my hair strand so i think that's super helpful hashtag if it's going to get to the core of your hair it should be in your hair in hashtag so um every week i'm using these two this is actually a little bit newer um but this is what i'm deep conditioning with that second week so first week just these guys i still sit under dryer for a little bit less time because it doesn't say to sit with it on your hair but um this guy week two of my three week process um i'm sitting there under the dryer with a shower cap for 20 minutes and combing out my hair and everything with it lots of slip here love 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 so that's one line um this retails 16 dollars a piece for these two and then $28 for this. I've had this for probably three or four months and I have a lot left. I don't think that you, if you watch any of my other videos, two things, I think hair is hair. doesn't matter what color you are, the texture changes, porosity changes, blah, 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 you know, what ethnicity, what race, whatever you file yourself under, it doesn't matter to me. Um, and then I don't think that more product means more results or better results. I think you just use what you need and if you're gonna pay $28 for something, you shouldn't be done with it in in less than four weeks, cause that's dumb. So after that, um, I also fell in love with first, again, the deep conditioner, Riogio's Don't Despair Repair. Um, this is the one where I was like, initially I was using it every week. And on the packaging, it actually says, Hmm. Is it on the packaging or is it on the website? On the website it says every one or two weeks. I was like, oops, skirt. like scale back a little bit. I wasn't having bad side effects or anything, but I was just like, hey, if it says every one or two weeks, then let's just do what they tell you to do because they did the research and I trust them. Uh, uh, black owned business uh, sold, I get everything I get through Sephora. So I get it there. There's bigger sizes that I'm probably gonna do next. Um, because I like it enough and I don't need to really be experimenting that much um, So that's how I got introduced to this line and again thanks to Monica from the do um, Her information was be using the same thing from the same line. So oh, There's actually a moisturizing shampoo that they have and I was a little bit late to that. So excuse me When I run out, I might go get it. But again, I'm happy with the Amika So I'm probably just gonna keep it going this way but because I don't need a lot of protein, my hair isn't really damaged or that messed up, I don't think. Um, I want to still be repairing my hair because of the elements. I live in a city. Um, I'm washing my hair, handling it once a week. Um, yes, so it's just hair and it is exposed to things that I have no control over. So I went and I got the repair shampoo um, that I actually like a lot. It feels great in my hair. Uh, the Rosarco line, sorry, this is not the Don't Despair Repair Shampoo, but this is the Rosarco Repair line. So this guy is gonna have, well, very, very light. So anyway, <laughs> um, is rosehip oil, argan oil, and coconut oil. Coconut oil, everyone knows, pierces the strand, gets deep down in there. Argan, I think, is just like the hydration piece. Um, and then the coconut, I'm sorry, and then the rosehip, and argan like shine and everything like that and i think the rose hip is what is probably the most nourishing part of it um i've also read that it helps your hair grow i'm not sure about that i've only read it once and i'm probably making it up so let's just roll with it um and because you know some things might happen i actually use this right after i have my hair straightened this line because i was like i had heat on it and everything like that um and because sometimes i've been trying lately to like I tried to blow dry it to twist it. I didn't like it um, with just like the tension method. Um, but you know, like when I trim my ends and stuff like that, I wanted to have a full line to help bounce back from that heat that I'm using, or to like have a lot of heat protectant in it. So I went and got the leave-in spray. Um, it's a milk rest uh, restorative leave-in conditioning spray. Amazing! I love it. Um, also felt super. Uh, fortified things like that I felt like when I was washing 
uh, putting it in and like when I had to straighten it, I didn't see like lots of smoke and stuff like that. So that was really great. And then I also, for giggles, went and got the oil as well. Um, the oil, I was using a little bit more heat protection and then just to get some shine in my hair, I think my hair on average, although healthy, it just is easy for it to just not look shiny, like as shiny as I want it to look. Like it looks healthy shiny, but like I'm like, I want that, and that glow. So I went and got the oil as well. And I use this when I like break the cast of this guy. Um, and that's pretty much it. So and I, this actually is super light. So again, this is pretty pricey, but a half a pump or one pump, maybe two if you're feeling freaky, is enough. You don't have to go crazy. So the can, the um, Rizarco shampoo, I pulled everything up, is $24. And then there's like a, when you take it off, <laughs> there's this guy in there. So that's really nice. Um, $24. You only need, I do four sections in my hair. I do maybe a quarter sized amount for each section. I don't really rinse twice because I'm washing so regularly. It's never that, that dirty. And again, I'm not really doing any twist out. So there's not too much product on my hair. Um, so this has lasted me about two months so far. That's how long I've had it. It's been fine. Um, the leave-in conditioner is $20. I do, so this guy's still a spray, but I'll do like four to five, five to seven sprays in my hand and take it down a section, each section. Um, and that feels pretty good, but I've not had this that that long. So we'll see how long it lasts. The uh, conditioner, deep conditioner is $36. So I'm pretty much deep conditioning my hair all the time because I have a little porosity hair. So I don't even bother with getting the regular conditioners except for this one because I wanted to make sure I was just hydrating. Um, I might go get it, but because I don't, again, repair that often, I'm fine with doing this once every three weeks. So this is my third week of my regimen. Um, and then finally, the oil is $28. I've, again, only had this for so long, but I love how much you don't need to use. So let's get into the cool stuff. So I'm still using the Comet um, Ethiopica Hydrate Twist Butter. Nothing actually has changed with this. I still love the definition. It's actually so good. Again, like the last time I had to like pull it apart a little bit more, but I also twisted it way smaller than I normally do. So I'm happy with that. This guy's $18. This is the newest one. I've been using it for, when's the last time I ordered this? Cause I've also been doing the wash and go, so. I've been using it for a couple months and that's what's left. You only need a little bit, honestly using too much or you're supposed to too greasy, especially if you have a little porosity here. So this is great. I get it from Sephora. This probably sold other places. If you know other places, um, especially if it's cheaper than $18, let me know. But I'm happy with that and I order it when I'm getting to the time before the next time. I like order it so it's in my stash. Um, the do mousse def so there's rubber bands on here anything i use to style my hair outside of the shower because i'm not squeezing it usually i'm usually like pumping it or like if i am squeezing it like i just my hair is getting my hands are getting wet i put rubber bands around the bottle so it's not sexy at all but this product is i love 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 this foam this is actually what started me doing wash and goes because i thought i couldn't ever do them i use other foams i use other gels and like they're okay and they're cute but this is what made my curls be like hello hello so um i did actually try the shampoo conditioner i was indifferent about them they were actually great but i didn't i couldn't care less about any of it um, and I think there's a little bit of protein in one of the pieces. So I was like, let me just back away. But this mousse depth, I think it has a blue agave. There's silk, that's the one. This is the one in here. So there's silk proteins in here, humidity blocking. Um, what else does it have? Blue agave is pretty, I think it's a little bit more naturally derived than normal. Um, super shiny. Ugh, and you don't need a lot. So I would do probably like two full pumps. So if I have four sections, I usually break that into like four to seven, four to six sections. 
uh, probably like four, but I would use like two pumps per section. So this gets me through about three or four, maybe like a month, and then I have to go buy another one. It's fourteen ninety nine. I get it at Target. Um, it's at almost every Target because I've literally been in like Targets and emergencies in other cities, and it's there. So um, I grab this all the time. So what was happening is spectacular in the summer. Um, I haven't used it yet as it's gotten cooler here in Chicago, but um, I was a little bit like the roots were getting a little bit frizzy too fast. So I was like, well, I definitely need to put a gel on top and no gel that I tried. So if you have a recommendation, put it in the comments, but no gel is like helping it without flaking. And I would rather have this alone than flake with something new. So I truly tried like mixed chicks. I tried kinky curly, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, no. Nah. But I think I'm just going to save it. I'm probably going to do it as it gets cooler and cooler and more dry. So that way I don't have to worry about humidity. Um, and hopefully she comes out with either a leave-in or like a gel to put on top. That would be spectacular. We love you. Um, oh, so good. So good. And I like write it down. I see people, hundreds of people all day, every day. And women who are wearing their hair natural, I'm like, boop, get this. So this led me to discover an oldie but goodie that I feel like has also been popping up a little bit more on Instagram, on YouTube, um, and that's Kinky Curly. So I grabbed this and it did flake with this. However, <laughs> um, the, what did I do? I think one day I was like, let me just try it on its own. I was like, Oh, I think I just liked it so much. I liked the way it looked. I didn't just like the flakes. So I was like, I'm just gonna roll with this guy and see what's going on. And it does still fluff up at the roots quite a bit. That's just my hair though. Um, oh my God, but it's just so much more defined and like the hold is a little bit better. So I was using at the tail in those warmer months. Um, and in turn went back and got this guy. So you see the rubber bands, the Kiki Curly Not Today um to pair them together because i wanted because this my hair feels hydrated that's the other important thing my hair feels hydrated with this alone and this did not happen alone so i went and got this guy just to put it together um keep it simple and i this is what it looks like isn't it great um still perfecting i feel like back here i get a little heavy-handed because i'm worried about the definition and I can't really see so I'm working on how much I need but this is about three wash and goes here or washing styles um so I have one more left this I've been using just randomly with other things um and I did it with my twist out with this I think that it was too hydrating and I normally don't do a leave-in when I wear this or the leave-in I was using before it was a spray super super lightweight so this, I think I'm just going to continue to use alone. These two go together. So natural, so organic. Um, price point's high. And inconsistent. I wish every Target tried the same amount. But who am I to say? Um, <laughs> according to Kiki Curly website, which I'm just going to start using because it doesn't go up or down depending on what neighborhood you're in or zip code you are in in Chicago. Um, <laughs> the Not Today is $12 for the 8 ounce and $32 for the refill sorry 44 for the 32 ounce which i'm just gonna get from now on i love this stuff it actually really does detangle your hair really really well um like truly if you read the ingredients is mango fruit organic elm, slippery elm marshmallow root organic lima grass all of this organic and that the stuff i can't pronounce i google and it's all naturally derived like in any product they're just like it comes from like x y and z seed and i'm like okay i can do that um, this guy ingredients are botanical infusion of water, horsetail, chamomile, nettle, and marshmallow, organic aloe vera. I mean, it's so dope. $17. Actually, I might not get this one from this site because I think I've gotten it for like $16. I don't know, but it's worth it. I get, again, about four hairstyles. Four to five. Yeah. So, I'm happy. Um, so we're coming up on 20 minutes, so I'm just going to kind of rush through this last one because I want to keep it cute. But the Baobab oil from Shea Moisture, I actually put it with this guy when I sit underneath because it helps with the elasticity. So I was getting Jamaican black castor oil, and this is there's no science behind this, but I literally was like, 
well, if the Jamaican black castor oil has these omegas and this and this and this in it, then this has it too. Then I'm just going to go ahead and get this and maybe kill two birds with one stone. Truly no science behind it, but I like it. Um, it's super, you know, again, this is about 14 bucks. I got it at Walgreens. Um, yeah, $14.99, but it was also on sale. <laughs> so, um, you only need maybe two, maybe two, because I'm only sitting it under the dryer. Um, so I put like one or two pumps in my hand and put it on top of this. I don't put it before, I put it after. Um, and I do feel like it does help with like, um, the elasticity of my hair. So that is it. I have some other ideas on what I'm going to do next, especially around washing style or just around how I get the styles that I have. You're probably never going to see me in the shower only because I don't have the, what is that stuff called? Tools, the software, all that kind of stuff to do editing and all that. You can literally see my bare ass in there um, getting in and out because I wouldn't be able to cut it and snip it so no one sees that part. Um, but super, super, super proud of all these things. Um, super excited. I have some new goals in my hair. My hair is always, uh, so this is how it looks shrunken and everything. I don't really ever stretch it because I like the way this looks. But every now and then I, I'll probably do it tonight because it's about three days in. Right? Um, but when I got it straightened, it was down pretty far um, on my back and everything. So my goal is to get this shrunken state down to about here so that's probably going to be about i don't know three years of not getting my hair cut um it's always when it was straight i always kept it right here i never really let it grow that long and also probably couldn't because i didn't know what to be doing but this is the beginning i know things are going to change between length and affordability and um, what my hair needs but super duper duper excited so thanks for stopping by Comment below if you have any other questions about the product or if you agree with any of these things or if you have any better ideas. And I will see you guys soon.